don't know about your home office setup, but I often like to use more screens connected to my Mac. Maybe you are just connecting your TV to watch the movie on a bigger screen. Maybe that's your reason. Either way, I think it's good to set up how these screens interact together. How the cursor moves from one screen to the other one. How the windows moves from one screen to the other one. And so on. So I'll show you how to do it in this video. I can first open system settings and go to displays. It shows my MacBook screen on top. If I connect external monitor, it will appear here as well. I usually have the screen on the shelf on the left side of my Mac. So it makes sense to set it here the same way. Click on the orange button and use these virtual monitors to set it as close as it looks like for real. You can even go up and down. The monitor is a bit higher, so I have it set above my Mac screen as well. Why are you doing that? Is to make it more natural to move between them. These both connected screens basically box as separate monitors. I can move my cursor to the left of the Mac screen and it will smoothly go to the other screen. I can open new find the window on my Mac screen, open any document and drag that document window on the separate screen. So I can use the document there, but I still have whole desktop free on my Mac. It can be combined with mission control as well. Notice that the new screen has different virtual desktops, so I can add another one and it will not add it to my Mac. I have my three standard desktops on the Mac, plus another two on the external monitor. Also another thing to notice is the dock on the bottom. By default it's attached to the computer screen. But if you plan to work on a big screen and use your Mac just like a computer base, you can move the cursor to the external screen, select it and come down to the bottom. And it will transfer the dock to the external monitor. Well, this is my setup. But you can set it up differently. You can use that external monitor not as a separate screen, but you can actually use it to mirror your screen of the Mac. Well, you can also set it up in the display section in the system preferences. Here, if you click on the screen on top, you get a set of options related to that selected monitor. And right on top in the menu, I can select if I want this to be extended display or mirror my computer screen. I prefer to use it as a separate screen, but it's up to you, you might like it as mirroring. Here in the options you can set more things, you can set the resolution, colors, refresh rate and so on. But what is interesting, you can also change the rotation of the screen. So you can use it vertically. I obviously can't do it with my monitor, but I know people who likes to use it like that. So these were all the options for setting the external screen. I have to note one more thing at the end. If you are using multiple screens connected to your Mac, it can be quite consuming for the Mac. Pay attention to it if you have an old Mac. Of course, if you have new Apple Silicon Macs, they can power up many 8K screens. But if you have some older Mac, especially the one on Intel, they can be overheating. So pay attention to that. And if I can keep your attention for one more second, give this video a like and support my small channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.